Joo. Vois muuten tota pääjuonta vähän jatkaa. Tässä on jääty, jääty tota noin, <laughs> pyörimään ympäri ja tekemään sivutehtäviä. Sorry. I know. I can't sing. <sighs> well, look who's arrived. Did you have any problems finding your way around? This city can be quite a maze if you don't know it. Right, you're from Ostian. I almost forgot. Mm. They're quite fascinating, these places, aren't they? You can climb high, and you can fall just as deep. And every place vibrates with life. Well, I do. Here, put this on. And before you ask, yes, it's necessary. Just trust me. Mikä se Jespari meitä nyt oikein vie? Nobles Quarter. Se on vähän paremmat vaatteet. Mistä se tietää mun koon? Hmm, epäilyttävä. Jespara, ootas vähän. So about this fever, usually those gifted with magic have to report their talent to the order and then pass a ritual that teaches them how to deal with their magic. Uh -huh. The journey to the water is what they call it. Once they've passed that, the fever reduces to an endurable level and new arcanists have their names registered in some kind of holy book. Uh -huh. But there are other ways to get rid of the fever, and I hope my employer can tell you about them. Any Well, that's just how he is. Always. Okay, talking. almost there. Malfas's blessings. Let's hope he knows what he's my doing. Light, my glimmer at the horizon. Thy name is my sacrament. Tässä näin aikaisemmin sanoo, että tänne varmaan päästään jossain questissa. Arevasin. Nyt tulee vettä. Hold it, my sir. No civilians beyond this point without explicit permission. Who are you and what leads you to this holy place? Business. I'm Jaspar Delveric and I work for the Naramese mages. Ah, oh, right. The mercenary. And who's your companion? Marija de Luna from Ostian. Esteemed holder of de Luna's Empire of Tender Fragrance, the most prestigious perfumery in all of Vin. Archmagister Marigel sent for her. Didn't he tell you? The Archmagister? Um, well, that does sound like him. <laughs> okay. Fair enough, you may pass. But show this place the respect it deserves, mercenary. You too, my Dame de Luna. You have my word, fair lady. Thank you. Let 
tuo harjoittaa, harjoitteli epäkistäpäämistä. Stay right behind me. It's not far. Tupettamisen kannalta on vähän ehkä huono peli, kun tässä on muutamia kopiraitattuja raitoja keskiaikaista musiikkia. This is holy ground, Outlander. You don't belong here. Lampa ystävällisiä. Well, that went better than expected. <laughs> okay. Hey, it worked, didn't it? That's all that matters. Nobody will suspect someone who's already in the temple. Anyway, I think it's about time I tell you a little bit more about this employer of mine. His name is Constantine Firespark, and he's one of Rath's or Renthiel's former followers, which the new Grand Master, Teolor Renthiel, brought here by ship about two years ago. That means he's one of the former arch enemies of the Order. Uh -huh. They usually wear green, while the Order wears white or red. That should make it easy for you to tell them apart. Firespark's pretty much the eldest of Narathsul's mages, and quite well versed in magic, at least from what I've heard. Plus, he's a very gentle and likable fellow, which is why even the Keepers like having him around. Let's hope he can tell us a thing or two about these visions, and help you get rid of the fever. Miten ihmeessä no, follow me. kaksi täysin vasta, huh? vastakkaista osapuolta rupeaa tekemään yhteistyötä? Te tulla jotain paljon pahempaa niin kuin niitä vastassa. Blazes, I just can't bloody believe it. All right, here we are. Hmm. Hang on. No, 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 no. That's not how you do it. All of them. Blast it. I'm just being careful. We have to. Like we do. Give me that thing now. <laughs> Blasted, blistering blazes. blazes. I just can't hardly <sighs> believe it. That's what you get for working with fumblers. I <clears throat> told you, we Most should fire be spark. careful. What? Now, who the heck are you? Can't an old man be that a moment to himself? <laughs> um, you hired me. The Magister, don't you remember? Oh, right. Joseph the Scrounger. So, why are you here? Had any luck? Just spar. And yeah, we did find something. I... Suggest you first of all tell me when I allowed you to drag your flings up here. <laughs> Do you need me to explain the meaning of the words highly and confidential to you? I'm sure there's a lot you can explain to me, but let's save that for later. This particular lady over here needs your help, to be frank. Arcane fever. Is that so? And what exactly has that got to do with me? Let the Keepers and their holy rituals take care of it. What is it with the costume, anyway? This woman's magic is different, my sir. Just feel her aura and you'll see it. Plus, she's from Narenth, just as you are. Uh, I need that. Well, all right then, for nostalgia's sake. I really hope you're not wasting my time, though. Working with these religious buffoons is bound to make any rational thinking person go bonkers. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that, that get chair care. over there. Take a seat, and I'll have a look at that fever of yours. All right, then. This will tickle a little. Hmm, now you're right. This aura does feel different, complex somehow, and mm, powerful. And do you really want to tell me you've only recently discovered that talent of yours? With that aura, I'm surprised that you haven't turned into an Obaya by now. Hmm, fine, fine, I, I, well, that is, we will help you. But first, tell me everything. How you got that magic, and how you met that scrounger. <laughs> Hmm, I see. Regarding this vision 
thing. I think that your mind simply played a trick on you there. Not that it's much of a surprise, considering what you've been through. Actually, you were quite lucky that the sudden outburst of your glance didn't blow your head right off. Uh -huh. Let's hope he knows what he's doing. Ah, uh, well, if that's what you want to believe, <coughs> go for it. I, in any case, have never come across such a phenomenon in over 50 years of studying magic. And now we should... It all begins with the dreams. What the? Blasted, blistering blazes! Does this room look like the bosom of a whore to you? Or what makes you think you can go around touching anything you get your fingers <laughs> on? Gary. These documents are confidential for heck's sake. It's not the bird I knew it was a mistake to hire a thug like you. Lashery always had a weakness for... Correct me if I'm wrong, but I remember you telling me something about dreams that led you and Teal Orenthiel here, didn't you, my sir? And you told uh -huh. me that in this vision of yours, the Veiled Woman said this. It all begins with the dreams. What? Is that true? Oh. Then, this near-death experience you had before you woke up on the shore. Tell me again, what exactly did you see in it? A room? Hmm. Well, this... this is strange, indeed. Anyway... For now, all that matters is that we get that magic of yours under control. Whatever you clairvoyance back there is of no use to us if you're dead as a doornail in a couple of months. Well, that's usually a plodding process. The fever you feel is a result of your mind not being able to handle all of these possibilities, so to speak. The ritual the Andraleans practice to get the glance under control is called the Journey to the Water. Put frankly, it means one year of hour-long meditation, uh -huh. bland food, and abstinence from anything that makes life worth living. In due time, the Arcanist then learns to filter these other realities from ours, and the fever gets less and less. Anyhow, luckily enough, we Neremese know of a way to quicken that process. A shortcut, if you will. I'm not capable of performing it, but uh. another one of us is. Hmm. Her name is Lashery. And you should seek her out as soon as Missä possible. Let's hope he knows what he's doing. Hmm. Hmm. She's currently in a ruin called Old Rationgrad, not far from Ark. Just tell her that I sent you. Ah, uh, give me that map of yours. Okay, now you'd have to be a total idiot to miss it. I recommend leaving for the ruin straight away. And you, Joseph, you're going to come with me <laughs> and show me what your trip to the Sun Coast brought forth. Hopefully, more than a bottle of honey wine and a hangover. Tää hirveesti tuohon palkkasuturiin luota, vaikka se on aika terevä tyyppi niin sanotusti. Quite a character, isn't he? But I like him somehow. Uh -huh. Here, I owe you this for your help back in Riverville. Uh, and in case you're in the mood for a mug of ale and a good chat, just drop by the dancing nomad in the stranger's quarter. I'll get myself a room there for the time being. With all that said, good luck mastering your magic, my fair lady. I'll see you around. Tämän kanssa ilmeisesti voisi olla romanssi tässä pelissä. Teleportaus, scrolli. Ennen by the spoon. Juu, juu, olin lähdössä. Oh, you're here. This you is holy single. ground, Outlander. No, you don't belong smashed. here. I'm... No. In, in tar... Ei ollut tarkoitus ottaa sitä hyllystä, no. This is holy ground, Just Outlander. Be you don't honest. belong here. The funerals. This is not cool. I could have done without them, though. I don't doubt it. I still can't believe that really happened. 
Brother Yaro, he was such a good man. I don't think the Red Madness cares much about that. Probably not, no. I wonder how it happens, the infection. What do you mean? Well, the red eyes and the obvious madness only happen in the last stages of the disease. But what happens before that, and how? How can one tell someone else is afflicted? Why, scared you've caught it, are you? That is not funny. You know, I've had this feeling that this there's something wrong with Yero for quite some time, long before it happens. Yo. Uh, you don't say. His wife was murdered. Don't you think that would have thrown you out of balance too, path abiding Indorellian or not? That's not what I mean. Her death broke him, yes. But there was no hatred in him, only grief. The hatred only came shortly before he did it. Sorry, but I don't really see what you're going at. I'm just trying to say that, well, maybe we all should be careful. Maybe it was Euro's grief, his instability, that made him susceptible to the Red Madness in the first place. But let the Flameling and the Apothecary find that out. I have to go now, brother. Walk blessed. Yeah, this just doesn't make any sense. Why can't it ever be easy? This is holy ground, Outlander. You do not belong here. What's that? I'm walk over here. As if they'd ever listened to me. Well met. You? There was... You bloody fool! Your demeanor desecrates this holy place! There are two ways we can do this. You can either pay a fine right now, or I'll take you down to the prison. Make your choice, and make it quick! I hope you will. <laughs> Lovely day, isn't it? My damn. All right, Eddie. Madame? Yes? Just a bad is a loss. So see your spreading gas solid. Yes, spreading gas solid. So expensive. That way to know so. Just think about it, okay? I will. Take care. We had the Anna Melbourne and Nice Hmm? Hey, you came. Come on, take a seat. So, tell me, how are you holding up? It must have been quite the whirlwind. Yesterday, a refugee from another country, and now a prodigy with a magic great enough to impress old Bushybeard. Good luck with that. <laughs> I'm quite curious to see how things keep on with you. You're different. I noticed that the time we met. Anyhow, tell me, what do you make of this country now that you've had some time to look around? 
I figure it must be quite the change from Narem. Shoot. <laughs> yeah, I can picture that. You know, this is exactly the reason why I love inns so much. The sky can rain fire out there. In here, you'll always meet laughter and good humor. Not to mention all the good-looking men and women. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Though I think I've seen enough of this place by now. Of Enderol, I mean. There's a ship sailing for Kilei next morning, and as it seems, it will be the last one for quite some time to come. Who knows? Maybe they still have a cabin to spare for a handsome treasure oh, hunter. He's better last. <laughs> oh well. This entire thing was more a coincidence than planned, anyhow. The order needed someone with skill and discretion. I was around. End of story. I never intended to stick around for much longer. Heck, me as an ambassador of the Holy Order? Could you imagine that? Liam. Not one step further, O oh fair maiden. Drop your garment so we may both bathe in Malthus's holy light. Hmm. Actually, not that bad, don't you think? Yeah. <laughs> well, what good is a frown anyway? What matters are results, not attitudes or intentions. What does the wise hermit say? Nothing is of less importance to the saved than the reason for their rescue. The only difference between a mercenary like me and a holy warden is that I'm at least aware of the fact that I do what I do for myself and no one else. I'm trying to say that all those heroes and self-declared messiahs are no better than everyone else. In the end, we are all selfish because we always act in accordance to what we think we have to be like. So yes, Maybe the keeper saves the farmer from the bandits, but at the end of the day, he does it because he sees himself in a certain light. <laughs> you know, the funny thing is that a lot of times, it's especially those who think of themselves driven by a higher purpose who are the really dangerous ones. They don't understand what drives them, and that makes them easy to manipulate. The only thing left to do for the capable hate monger or tyrant is to somehow combine his own ambitions with the mental image of this person. And presto, you've got your perfect puppet, only waiting to dive into the next hail of arrows for their honor, their religion, or whatever they thought of this time. <laughs> it's just so... <sighs> idiotic, you know? The world would be a much better place if everyone could just acknowledge that the only reason we're here is that we want to be happy. Yeah, seek bliss and avoid pain, as the wise hermit likes to say. And believe me, once you realize that that's how people just work, life is a lot better. <laughs> oh, yeah, I do. And this goal is called surviving. And if possible, to be able to enjoy a good glass of wine or an exciting night from time to time. <laughs> oh, Blazes, you make it sound so dramatic. Doing something for your own sake doesn't make you selfish. But yeah, basically that's it. I don't know, call it a feeling. But if there is such a thing as a universal point to our lives, then I'm pretty sure we won't find it within the pre-digested philosophies or religions most people believe in. I'd be the last one to reject this great truth if she were to knock on my door, naked and tits jiggling. But until then, I'd rather try and find my own answers. Really? I was half expecting you to throw insults at me. That's what people usually do when I tell them that. But I guess life is full of surprises. <laughs> anyway, I'll take my leave now. Uh huh. I very much enjoyed our talk, but the ship to Kilei leaves before the first cock's crow tomorrow, and I want some more time to think about it. Well, it most recently gained the good-looking Naramese woman. <laughs> Maybe that'll make up for when I leave. Keep your chin up. Huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, yes. Of course you'd say. Uh, yeah. 
Wait a moment. <coughs> You're an outlander, aren't you? Only if you know what to look for. I'm one myself, so I do. Balhazel, pleased to make your acquaintance. Tell me, if you're new in this city, are you perchance also looking for work? <coughs> Excuse me, what was I saying? I'm looking for a hand. It's simple, I want you to find something for me. You know, I'm a healer, just like my father was, and my grandfather before that. When he came to this country, he did so because he had been hired by an Arca noblewoman, a bright lady who valued science and the arts of healing. <coughs> In any case, my grandfather spent a large portion of life working for this lady in an old, abandoned fort near the now deserted village of Fogville. Together with a good dozen other Apocathari, mm -hmm. he planned for my father to succeed him. But before he had the chance to, the mushroom plague occurred. Uh -huh. Yes, that one. The spores of those mushrooms have literally sucked all the life from the forest and its surroundings. Plus, they are a threat to everyone who comes close. It does seem likely, doesn't it? Both my father and I have asked my grandfather this question too, but he has always denied it. The plague was a magical phenomenon, a freak of nature, no more, no less. Yeah. Those were his words. However, I've made some troubling discoveries which have led me to doubt that. I believe the plague might have been Willy fabricated. Well, this is exactly what I want you to find out. Unfortunately, the noblewoman who my grandfather worked for has long been dead, and she was the last in their bloodline, so I couldn't find any answers there. But the old fortress where they worked still stands. Look at me, you will have the answer. I'm old and far from made for the road to begin with. Furthermore, all those undead who have been roaming the wilderness since that red madness began don't exactly make the idea more inviting. Point him. But don't worry. If you succeed, I'll make it worth your while. Reports, scrolls, samples of their works. Anything that could be of relevance. Just look around. Do you have them Here, the fortress should be in this area. Best you take a Myra to Fogville. In the village harbor, there was a hut where my grandfather lived when he was off duty. Chances are you'll find a key to the fortress there. Good luck, and thank you. If you have found the material, you can find me in the Undercity, near the old waterworks. My laboratory is there. Ah, the park. Dreary field. Mead, stew, roast pork, anyone? They will hear me, I'm just going to sit down. Why, yeah. Huh? What? You mean the living dead, the Watiers everywhere, the frenzied civilians? I'd say this country's seen better times. But at least something happens, it makes this place less boring. <laughs> what? You mean. Living dead, the Watiers everywhere, the frenzied civilians. I'd say this country's seen better times. But no. Se meni aikaisin nukkumaan. Tuli mielenkiintoinen tehtävä. Myrädi tuli niitä lentäviä autuksia. Okei, pitiköhän mun nää tornit etsiä, niin kun mä pystyn lentämään sinne. Varmaan 
on kiinni. Joo, en tänään jäädä kuuntelemaan musiikkia, kun tässä on se ongelma, että on käytetty tota lisensoitua musiikkia, niin kun, että tietysti jos artisti antaa luvan, niin se ei... You look disheartened. I have just the right thing for you. A visit to our gallery. Dozens of beautiful paintings by different artists, each of them a treat for the eye. Come now for tomorrow, you may not have a chance. No? I thought so. Then have a nice day. Come now for tomorrow, you may not have a chance. Oh, really? What makes you say that? It's not like our country is ruled by a group of antiquated conservative clerics who care as little about art as they care for the latest trend in Kilean fashion. But no, you're right. It is unusual. But even a narrow-minded country like Enderal has artists. And those artists need a place to show their work. Which is just what we do. Oh shit. I have to uh, that's one way to put it. Truth be told, if the Golden Sickle doesn't decide to leave a barrel full of coin on our doorstep tomorrow, we won't be able to pay rent much longer. Uh-huh, okay. That is okay. Especially now that my esteemed mother has decided to play hermit. Uh-huh. <laughs> wow. Listen to me. A month ago, I would have been too proud to admit this. Now I shouted at a complete stranger. She's a painter. Our best-selling painter, to be precise. Some people even came from other countries to see her portraits. At least before the war. Mm, it's hard to describe. She's portrayed half of Ark's nobility by now. At least that's what it feels like. And she does it. The paintings are just so... intense. I don't know how else to put it. That's why people are willing to pay a fortune for them. It's crazy if you think about it. Well, what I said. For months, she has not reacted to our letter, nor sent one herself. And what's worse, she hasn't sent us any new paintings. Which is one of the reasons why this place isn't going so well. And in case you wonder why we just don't visit her, my mother was always a little... special. And where she resides reflects that. The Dark Valley. Yeah. You'd do that. That's... Uh, quite the offer, to be honest. A word of warning in advance. I cannot pay you. That is, unless you're interested in a painting from Prince Myth. But I warn you, they're as bad as his poems. A little detour in a place swarming with undead eager for your blood. <laughs> right. I hope you know what you're doing. I really do. But still, I guess I'm too selfish to decline your offer. It's worth a try. My mother and I, we don't exactly have a... Uh, good relationship. But still, I need to know she's alright. You said you travel a lot, so you have a map with you, right? Show me. So there you go. That's where her hut should be, at least approximately. Good luck. And, uh, thanks. Kuka se villimaakista näiti? Okay. Brave blood. Sekin maalaa. Tämä on nyt se. Taiden museo. Mhm. Mm se on se aviomies varmaan. Work, work, work. <laughs> Kaikki klassiset taideteokset täällä. 
päin on vähän huonot seinät, niin... Yeah, a good pipe of peace weed. Places, why is that stuff so expensive? Mm, pointy. Yhtäkään tämä elementalismia voisi periaatteessa opetella, niin mä varmaan yes. täytyy ostaa tässä vaiheessa vaikka niinku noita taitokirjoja. Muistaakseni mulla oli ihan no tonnin, tonnin hyöstä. Se on täältä alennusta. Yes. Well, a bit of everything. Just look for yourself. Niin, on maan mestaritasosia. Kun tämän mä taas tarvitsen. Prentisen neuvon. Tässä on heti, jos on mestaritason kirja, niin kyllähän sitä oppii jotain, mutta se nostaisi niin kuin taitoa sillä lailla. Eli. Prentti se oli kai 25 alla. Eli mä tarvin niin kun One Handed In. Tää tarvii jo Apprentice-kirjoja. Tuo blokki One Handed, ne tarvii ihan novisi kirjoja. Greetings! Kait sitten. Oh, Lord bless it, mother. <sighs> Looking for steel. Everything for the path abiding soldier. Everything for the path abiding soldier. Vähän niin kuin mä tarvin tuota adeptikirjoja siis. Blokki. Come again. Everything for the path abiding soldier.
Tee on kyllä aika kallista. Tee opiskella. Ah, okei. Okay. Kaksi, kaksi viitoisesta kaksi kutoseen saa nostettua vielä huonommalla kirjalla. Everything for the path abiding soldier. 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 I thought that I'll be scared more. That's always the glad to be peace that I'm with them. That I'm not in a rose come now. I'm just a max a come with that. How may I be of service? Of course. Yes, of course. Thank you. 
May your path always be even. Kolme prosenttia parempia hintoja saa. Selvä. Okei, raskaamatta asiat voisi pistää. Can I help you? You're not from here, are you? Like, hey! You're an adventurer, aren't you? Have you been to... Oh, how do they say it? Melee? My dad told me that's where the petrified live. Tough. Times indeed. Tough times. Fruits, vegetables, bread fresh from the oven. Treat yourself. Se on tuolla kaukana. Dark Valley on tuolla. Mulla on menossa about, about siihen suuntaan. An outlander. Isn't this nice? Stop ignoring me! Parannusjuoman voisin tietysti ottaa vielä, eli, eli mä ajattelin täysin väärään suuntaan. Ahoi. Stop ignoring me! Madame? Yes? Marketplace. Tässä taisi olla Marketplace tuolla puolella. Kauppakilta. Ja nyt oletan ainakin, että ne ei niinku ryöstä mua ihan täysin kuin jäsen. Huh? Can I help you? Walk blessed. Wow! Nice sword! Some ships never end. Yes. Well, a bit of everything. Just look for yourself. Mukana. Tupakkaa on vähän, eli mä voisin yhdet 
saa uut varmaan vetästä. Tuommoisi vaan aika kätevä, jos, jos tarttuu jossain vaiheessa. Muuta se ei. Walk blessed. Walk blessed. Madame? S Stop ignoring me! Tässä meni kohtuullisen pitkä aika tuossa ekspositiossa, niin ei päästä vielä matkaan, mutta... Yes? Takaisin vaan näreeseen. Vaikka aika pitkä matka, jos me heitetään... Käydään ne kolme paikkaa tsekkaamassa. Niin. Greetings! Muotettu aasini. 